Here's our next example. We want to find the area of a cardioid. Um, so we've, we've drawn this one before. Okay, the, the curve looks something like this. Starts out here, goes around, comes in, comes back out to something like that. Okay. Far from a perfect illustration, but we don't need perfect. We just need good enough to know what's going on. So we draw pi over 6. We draw pi over 3. We say, okay, so this is the area we're trying to compute, right? This area in here. All right. Well, this is just a straightforward application of the area formula. We say the area is going to be 1 half integral from pi over 6 to pi over 3 of 1 plus cos theta squared d theta. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to have to multiply that out. There isn't any slick identity to get us straight there. We've got a little bit of work ahead of us. We've got 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos squared theta. Okay. D theta. Now we can use the fact that cos squared theta, right? What is cos squared? Cos squared is 1 half plus 1 half cos 2 theta. Okay. So if we combine the 1 with the 1 half, we have 3 halves. Then we have the 2 cos theta. 2 cos theta. Sorry. Having writing trouble. Uh, and then we have 1 half cos 2 theta. And we still need to integrate. That's next. Right? So multiply everything by that 1 half out front, find the antiderivatives, and we have 3 over 4 theta plus sine theta. We're going to get uh, sine 2 theta over 2 times a half times a half. We get 1 over 8 sine 2 theta. And we've got to go from pi over 6 to pi over 3. Um, so this time we're not so lucky in terms of uh, we don't have endpoints here where these are going to vanish, so we've got to actually plug things in. We can do it. Um, we get 3 quarters times. So pi over 3 minus pi over 6 is pi over 6. That part's not so bad. And then we have sine pi over 3, which is root 3 over 2 minus sine pi over 6, so uh, 1 half. And then 1 over 8, sine of 2 pi over 3 is still root 3 over 2, right? Because 2 pi over 3 puts us here. Sine is positive in that quadrant. And then we have sine of, so 2 times pi over 6 will give me pi over 3. Um, sine of pi over 3 is still root 3 over 2. Okay. And from there, of course, you can, you can simplify the... The number if you want it to look nicer, but you've got the answer at this point.